So when I was a kid, my parents brought home my very first home computer. I played a few games on it. A lot of those Disney interactive storybooks, things like that. But somewhere in the mix there was another game that, until recently, I could only vaguely remember. I remember there was a dragon, and it had something to do with fairy tales. And as I recall, those fairy tales got mixed up somehow. Well, I finally found the game, and turns out it's called Mixed Up Fairy Tales. Yeah. Yeah, and I felt real stupid when I realized the game was made by Sierra. THE Sierra. Known for games like King's Quest, King's Quest 2, Space Quest, King's Quest 5. I never did finish the game, and I can't remember why. I feel like there must have been some good reason. Uh, sorry, that... that was weird. Um, anyway, I think it's time to go back into the game and finish what I started all those years ago. Ooh, I get to choose an avatar. Well, that kind of looks like me as a kid. Almost too much like me. Now to enter my name. Well, this one's obvious. Dr. Butts. The game starts out in the library, and the librarian, we'll call her Marion, tells me to pick a book. Then, for some completely unexplained reason, this painting of Abraham Lincoln blows a bubble and all hell breaks loose. Is that a dragon? Oh, his name is Bookworm. Bookworm. I see what you did there, Sierra. I see what you're playing at. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So Bookworm asks me, a little boy, to follow him into his book. And after I tell him I need to stay in the library, he pulls a loophole out of his hat a little too fast if you ask me. So long story short, someone done messed up all the fairy tales and it's my job, me, a small child mind you, to fix the problem that this wise old dragon can't seem to fix. For starters, each time I encounter a character from a fairy tale, I have to choose the title of their story before I can help them. There's five fairy tales in all, so I'll try to get through them all quickly. First up, we'll do Beauty and the Beast. You meet Beauty in town, and she asks you to find her dad. Lo and behold, Daddy Darius is waiting outside these castle gates. You know, why isn't there any voice acting in this? I know this is an old DOS game, but even some of the King's Quest games had voice acting. Ooh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. You did? Well then, what happened? Uh, on second thought, maybe we're better off. That's okay, I'll improvise. I'm looking for a rose for my daughter Beauty, but I keep getting lost in the maze inside these gates! So you decide to help Blondie here by entering the very anticlimactic hedge maze and retrieving the apparently only rose in the garden. Seriously, you just click on the rose and mosey on over. Uh, whatever, I'll just head back and uh, but did, did you see something? It's probably just my imagination, I'm, I'm gonna turn in that rose. Alright pal, one rose coming right- WHOA! <laughs> Look at Beastie Boy over here. How dare you steal a rose from my garden? I treat you as a guest and give you gifts. Then you betray my kindness by stealing from me. You shall pay for this. Oh, sure, one rose. That's what, like, uh, five bucks? So Man Bear Pig here is all, Bring me your daughter or you'll never see your home again. And Gunter over there is like, Oh man, not my home. A daughter is a daughter, but like, I just paid off my mortgage. So you leave and find Beauty a few screens away, and she needs to get to Beast's castle, but someone named Bookend keeps scaring her. Bookend keeps jumping out at me and chasing me off. Perhaps if you go with me, I will not run away. Okay, so who or what is Bookend? Did somebody tell me and I wasn't paying attention? Am I, am I already supposed to know? I will go with you. Bookend can't scare me. So off we go to Beast's castle and- Hey, what's, what's that music? That doesn't sound troubling at all. Ah! What is that? Oh no. I remember now. This is why I stopped playing the game as a kid. Yes, believe it or not, this little poop face scared me as a kid. I remember him living in a cave and coming after me if I lingered too long outside. So, his name is Bookend. Ah, I'll get you now. You'd better run. Well, we don't want to upset the man. We better do what he says, am I right? <laughs> Dr. Butts here is going to help me get back to Beast. Dr. Butts, are you afraid of Bookend? Yes. So, yada yada yada, we walk right past him, and I can't believe I was ever afraid of this little guy. We return to find Beast like dead or something. Beauty tells him she loves him, he wakes up and turns into a creepy dude. They live happily ever after. You know the story. Next up, we have Cinderella. You find old Cindy sitting on a bench in tears, sad because she can't go to the ball. How I wish I could go to the ball. 
Then, her fairy godmother appears to help Cinderella. How can you help me? All I need is a little magic and a nice pumpkin. It's gotta be a nice pumpkin though, not one of those hooligan pumpkins that goes around disrespecting people, you know, smashing other pumpkins. It's gotta be a nice, like, real kind, charitable, a real people pumpkin. No, I'll never go to the ball. Oh. You just calm down, lady. I'll find your stupid pumpkin. So you literally just walk around until you find a pumpkin, bring it back to the fairy godmother, then it's off to the ball we go. Walking one screen over, it's suddenly midnight as you see Cinderella flee the scene, leaving Prince Charming behind with her glass slipper. <gasps> Scott Bayo? I know his name is Prince Charming, but I didn't know he'd be that charming. Charming in charge of our days and our nights. Charming in charge of our lungs and our rights. So Bookend comes to mess things up again, steals the slipper and then ditches it in the ground somewhere where he thinks no one will find it. Then you pick it up and take it back. Again, yada yada yada, premature love, happily ever after. You know the story. Um, excuse me. Bookworm got me running around doing all his errands, and he's just sitting here on his lawn reading a book? Are there no child labor laws in fairy tale land? So anyway, other fairy tales occur, nothing special. Jack and the Beanstalk. You know the story. Snow White. You know the story. Bremen Town Musicians? Okay, I don't know that one. So evidently, Bremen Town Musicians is about a band of animals who get together and sing. Including this donkey who looks like maybe he was eating the wrong type of grass, if you know what I'm saying. You help get them all together and stumble upon the shack where a couple of thieves are hiding, and the animals decide to, uh, sing for them. What's that? What's that? What's that? Do, do they not see the animals and small child in the spacious open window not two feet away? Something? <laughs> Long story short, the animals scare the thieves away and decide to live in their shack. Happily ever after. Once all five of the fairy tales have been resolved, you end up finding Bookworm, who apparently has quite the extensive wardrobe, searching for his book that contains all of the stories. It's gone! Bookend must have taken it! Bookend. It's time. After all these years, it's time to go and pluck him from his probably foul-smelling cave. We will have his head, well, we will have his whole body on a stick. You find Bookend in his cave about to burn this magical book in a fire. You're all, no, don't do it, and he's all, I'm gonna do it, uh. Suddenly, Bookworm shows up to finally do something other than kidnap children. Ah, I'll burn the book. You can't stop me. Just watch me. Oh my gosh, he turns into a big dragon. That's awesome! Give the book to Dr. Butts, right now. No, don't hurt me. Here, take your old book. So, Bookend hands the book over, and Bookworm calms the crap down. Why did you want to burn the book? I hate books. I hate all books. Why do you hate books? Because I can't read. Oh, now it all makes sense. Bookend wasn't a mean guy. He was just failed by the public education system. Of course. And with that, Bookworm agrees to teach the little scamp how to read. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't. Come in. Go again. <laughs> Don't slap! It's hard not to. Ow. Does anybody hear something? Want to see more of my stupid face and hear my stupid voice say stupid things about video games? Then go ahead and click on that subscribe button, and also make sure to check out the links to my social networks below.